I'm Mike Sherman, and from the Oklahoman studio in downtown Oklahoma City, this is a Thunder update. Joining me by remote is our Thunder beat writer, Darnell Mayberry, who's in Minneapolis tonight and today for the big Thunder Timberwolves game. Darnell, bet you never thought we'd be saying big Thunder Timberwolves game in Minneapolis this season. No, didn't didn't see this coming. You know, normally these last games are just kind of tune-up games for the Thunder, but uh, for the first time ever, it actually means something. Uh, if the Thunder wins and the Pelicans lose at home to the Spurs, the Thunder will be in the playoffs. If the Thunder does not win this game or the uh, Pelicans win their game, then the Thunder will be going home early for the first time in six seasons. Let's start with the Oklahoma City part of this equation, Darnell. From everything I read and everything I hear, it sounds like it's all set up for a Thunder win, which makes me wonder if it's a setup of another kind. Any chance the Timberwolves muster an upset tonight? No chance. I mean, this is a team that's not even really trying to win. If they lose, uh, they, they're going to have the best odds for the number one overall pick in the June draft. So, um, you know, that's kind of their motivation right now, and they're not trying to win games. Uh, they got a bunch of injured players. They got a bunch of young players out there that really don't know how to win. So I, I don't see any way the Thunder does not win tonight in Minnesota. Okay, Andrew Wiggins, of course, the uh, Timberwolves rookie, number one overall pick in last draft. Seawolves are trying to go back to back, number one overall. And as, if they lose tonight, they're, they'll have the best odds of it. Let's go on the other side of the equation, Darnell, in New Orleans, the Spurs against the Pelicans. And the Spurs are playing extremely well, winning 11 in a row, contrasting that with the T-Wolves, who have lost 11 in a row, and the, and the Spurs are trying to play for the second seed overall. What about the, the Pelicans' chance of pulling an upset there? Well, you know, it's interesting because this is their fourth and final meeting, meeting of course, of the season, and the Pelicans have really played the Spurs tough uh, all year. Now, there's a lot of things that you can throw in there. You know, you never know who was playing in those games, who was health, healthy, who was hurt. Uh, but the Pelicans have, have given the Spurs really good games uh, in the three games. One of them went to overtime. Uh, so, you know, I, I, both teams have a lot to play for. The Pelicans have, have kind of been on the cusp but have had injuries over the last several years. Uh, and now they got a chance to make the playoffs for the first time uh, since the Chris Paul era. And, uh, you know, Anthony Davis is a, is a budding superstar. He wants to be there. Uh, and it could be a really good game. Both teams have a lot to play for. Um, you know, so I, so I expect a, a really good game, unlike probably what we're going to see up here in Minnesota tonight. Darnell, finally, uh, once this is over, uh, then it's on to the playoffs. Off Thursday, off Friday, and the playoffs start Saturday. For you and for the Thunder, that would mean uh, getting on a plane and going to California where it would be a Golden State Warriors versus Thunder series starting Saturday or Sunday. Um, we talk about long shots. The Thunder's long shot lottery odds, you wrote about this today, if they were to lose. What's bigger, the Thunder's uh, shot of winning the lottery and getting the first number one all overall pick if they don't win tonight or upsetting Golden State in the first round? You know, I think from a number standpoint, you'd have to say upsetting Golden State because there's, you know, there's a bigger chance than a 0.5% chance, um, you know, which is what their chances would be of winning a number one pick. They got a 1.8% chance of getting a top three selection. Um, and, and you would think that they would have a better chance than that of upsetting Golden State, but maybe they don't. You know, I mean, they don't have Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka might not come back uh, this season, even if they make the playoffs. Um, it's going to be really tough to beat Golden State, especially the way the Thunder's defense is playing right now. They can't guard anybody, especially on the perimeter. And you got the Splash Brothers and, and Golden State, Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson. They put enormous pressure on teams. So uh, it's going to be really difficult for the Thunder to make that a, 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 an interesting series to the point where they have a chance to win it. So I would probably say, regardless of what the numbers say, I would say they probably have a better chance of winning the lottery. Wow. Well, Darnell, first things first, there's the coverage of the game tonight, which you can follow on News OK live in our live article. Also, uh, pick up the Oklahoman uh, for Thursday. Read all about the way the NBA playoffs are shaping up. And you can stay with the best coverage team every day at News OK every morning in the Oklahoman. Thanks, Darnell.